add to the high water devastation that has affected several shoreline communities. And we're full. We're right at the top. It's like it's like putting a drop in a glass of water that's full. It's going to come out someplace. Special long reach equipment from New York State is now in Alcott Beach. It is working with the Niagara County Highway Department to dig out an underwater trench and extend out the shoreline to protect homes that are at risk. We're making some really good headway. We've got some uh, some additional help from the governor. He was kind enough to send us a couple of machines and uh, we're hoping for some more. Sandbags are being deployed and public works employees and local fire departments are now on standby. We had seen it on TV, but once you really see it in real life, you're it's quite shocking. But municipalities are doing more than just taking precautions. Some are fighting back. Newfane has sent a resolution asking the Niagara County Legislature to start legal action against the International Joint Commission and its Plan 2014. Many believe Plan 2014 kept Lake Ontario levels too high earlier in the year before there was record springtime rainfall. You see every reason in the world they're saying it didn't cause it. Well, it did cause this. It's all that plan. You know, they, they waited too long. And even though it is only the beginning of June, New Fane officials say they may have to make a big change to 4th of July celebrations because piers are underwater. More on that at 6 o'clock. In Alcott, at Riley 7, Eyewitness News.